Hello, it's Kara. I brought you guys my updated morning routine today, um, right after this little intro. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I had, I've started, well, I started a couple of months ago using a, a couple of different things and, you know, swapping things around like I always like to do, but I, I'm going to go over the results right now and then I, in the next segment, I just kind of go through the routine really quickly and describe each one briefly. Um, but okay, so overall, you know, I'm a skincare junkie and I believe in that way above and beyond any form of makeup. I know there are some conditions and skins that are really hard to treat and you know, certain makeup techniques work perfectly for those situations, but you, you can still take a healthy approach to your skincare, you know, because the rest, you're just, your whole face will benefit from proper skincare including sunscreen. So, um, so my routine is for, you know, pretty much normal to, sl you know, dry, slightly sensitive skin. But if you have any additional, uh, medical problems or skin issues, then, you know, research a little bit beyond what I show and kind of tailor it to your own specific needs. But I know for me, I, I really want to take care of my skin, especially as I age. And, um, you know, I don't really like that term anti-aging because I'm not against aging I'm thank God I'm here <laughs> but I don't want to do things that will promote the acceleration of aging so I don't mind decelerating the aging process insofar as you know how my skin reacts to the environment and world around me anyway blah blah, blah. I started with some vitamin C serum a little ways back and I am really really liking it I am sold on it I use it typically twice a day morning and evening and then I have my gobs of serums and moisturizers that I alternate in and out I mean I have my my core like I've said a few times and I show you those but then I'm always on the lookout for new ingredients that are or not necessarily new but researched ones that are being proven and um, I try to you know work work those in too. So, as far as the vitamin C serum, I'll tell you my specific results. Uh, I definitely notice a skin tone change. Now, I don't really have problems with my skin, which is why you know I really sympathize if you're working with extraneous issues. Um, I have, I do have some funky thing where I'm getting these bumps, you know, for about eight months now weird little rashes that come out around my eyes and so I have that con to contend with and I have wrinkles and fine lines and all those luscious things so the vitamin C I put all over I carry it down I carry it across my decollete I use it on the back of my hands the best for instance I can give you because I don't really have age spots a whole lot of them on my face I have a couple through here um, and I've noticed that they're diminished they are faded they kind of blend in they're slightly darker than my skin tone but there's they're so small anyways but I have one on my hand I had that one and it was really really dark and it is probably a good two to three shades lighter so just by that little bug I know it's doing its thing um, and I don't even put it on here all the time <laughs> I just kind of wipe the extra around on my hands so uh, across my face though I have noticed my lines through here are slightly less emphasized and my you know I still have my deep set wrinkles but they're a little bit um, you know they're they're getting worked away and that is in part from my nighttime routine and something I've been using gonna do a video on it I don't want to break the surprise open now um, so, but a lot of that is also attributed to the vitamin C serum and all of my goodies that you'll see coming up. So I don't have drying. I don't have redness. I don't have a rash from the vitamin C. I do put it all over, including my eyes and close, pretty close to my mouth, down my neck, across my decollete, up over right here, down along my ears. I don't have stinging or burning. So I am not sensitive to this particular product, thankfully. I have enough other issues so um, so for me it works I 
am very happy with it and I will continue to purchase it and to use it in conjunction with all these other items that I show you. So, okay, on to the really good stuff now. Hello there, how's everybody doing today? It's actually a really nice, sort of warm, sunny day, so I'm really excited. My goodness, this rain, I just, ugh. You know, I can appreciate it for a time, but enough is enough, right? So, anyways, part of my background, if you see some laundry or anything laying around, I was so behind that I've had to do, like, <laughs> Literally, I think I did 14 loads of laundry in one week. Um, I don't even know how it accumulates to be that much. It's crazy. So, okay, I'm going to show you guys uh, what I've been using in the morning for the past probably about 40 days, 45, maybe even a little bit longer. Um, I had started a couple of new things, which I'm really excited about. So I wanted to talk to you about them. And one of them is for my nighttime routine, so I will be doing a nighttime routine video as well. This is just in the morning, um, what I'm going to show you right now. And I do translate some of these same products I use in the evening as well. So, okay, let's get started with what I do. I have already washed my face, which actually I either use a light cleanser or just my Thayer's um, Cucumber Non-Alcohol toner, <clears throat> which I've showed you guys before in the other videos, and I'll link those below, um, just, you know, for your convenience. So, okay, the new thing that I started, because I've mentioned a few of these items that I've used before, but the new thing that I started is the vitamin C serum. Well, I started it a little while back, um, but it takes time for some, you know, I like to give it, before I can really give it a good, honest review, and to see results, it takes some time. So I order it, there's my box. It's crunched and smashed because I keep it in the fridge. So I, it's a little bit beat up from going in and out of tiny little spaces that I cram it into. Um, I try to designate a spot for it, but you know, when there's five, six, 10, 20 people going in my fridge, things get shifted around. So, okay, this is the timeless, um, I did do this in my skincare review. I, I had talked about this. This is the 20% C, vitamin C, plus E, plus ferulic acid serum. And this was the formula that I found to be the best for me with the highest amount of vitamin C, plus the ferulic acid, plus the vitamin E, which is critical for the full functioning and if you want to quadruple the effects of your vitamin C. So, especially when it comes to photosensitivity. So I have gone with this one, and the ingredients are water, ethoxydiglycol, oh my goodness, ethoxydiglycol, ethoxydiglycol, <laughs> um, L-ascorbic acid, which is the most potent form. If you go back and watch my vitamin C serum, uh, the beginning of my skincare routine, uh, skincare education series, I mentioned that you know, I go through the different forms of and formulations of vitamin C derivatives. L-ascorbic acid is, that's, that's the one you want. If you can tolerate it, I should say that, because there's a lot of other ones that are um, just as good. Well, no, can't say that. They are magnificent. They will work superbly. Um, but the L-ascorbic acid is the most potent and fastest working. The other ones take a little more time or might not be quite as effective as the L-ascorbic acid, but they are still sensational and all in due time. So if you can't bear the L-ascorbic acid or whatever, this formula doesn't work for you, try one of the others that is in my other video. Okay, on to the good stuff. Okay. Uh, propylene glycol, vitamin E polysorbate 80, panthenol, ferulic acid, sodium hyaluronate, benzyl alcohol, and dehydrocetic acid. All right, so all I do with this, I keep it in the fridge. I take it out twice a day. I use this morning and night, most of the time. There are some days that I can't get to it for one reason or the other at one time or the other, either the morning or the night, but I pretty much try to use it every day. I think I've only skipped two days out of the past few months. So, um, And this I have been using, wait, yeah, some of the other ones, it's been about 45 days, maybe two months. This one, I believe, gosh, I should have documented it. I'm almost out. It's down to here. 
think this has been about three months solid. Yeah, about three months solid, I think. I'd have to go back and really check. Long enough that I've gotten a good determination of the product. Okay, so this you do not want to have light exposure or air exposure, so I'm going to open it quickly and use it quickly. So, okay, mine is like that. It's, it's um, I just pour about four drops in onto my hand. Rub it all in, all over, very lightly. Just a light rubbing in. Um, mine is turning slightly unclear. Not enough where I would even consider getting rid of it yet. And I'm almost done with the bottle. Um, but they do say once it starts to discolor, it's oxidizing, and you do not want to use it at that point. But that is like a slight orangey, reddish, brown color. As soon as I notice it discoloring like that, right now, it's clear as can be. So I've I've used oh, and I go across my decollete, across my decollete, um, with it. I've used probably about eight drops altogether. So I just kind of do about four going all around here, and then I just, yeah, carry it down, carry it up, I want to carry it up, always up. All right, so once I put this on, I let this sit for about anywhere between five and ten minutes. Okay, I'm back. It's all soaked in, doesn't feel tacky, feels good. You really don't need much time with that at all, but whatever you're comfortable with. Um, there was something I was going to mention. What the heck was it? I remember. Okay, I use a lot of this because it's going to go bad typically if I don't use it all up. It, You know, I don't want it to get that oxidizing, so I don't mind using it kind of lavishly all over. It's not that expensive, especially... Now, I did start out with the smaller tube. I will be ordering the giant one next time because I feel like I'm going to keep it refrigerated, I'm going to use it all over, and I feel like like that says it expires, I think it's three months, one minute. Yeah, this product is guaranteed fresh and effective for three months from the date of purchase. I bought this in December. I did not even open it until, what are we in, beginning of June, so let's backtrack. Yeah, about March. Um, I called them and I told them it was not discolored. They said it should be fine. When it starts to oxidize and discolor, get rid of it. So keeping it in the fridge, now I've used it for about three months. Um, and you can see, you saw that I was almost at the end of the bottle. So I don't mind, you know, I'm not going to be conservative with this. I really, I want to cover myself in it. And I'll tell you, it's it goes on smooth and it just soaks right in. So I don't have an issue with like using a good solid seven eight drops. Um, if you can get away with less, great. But you know I'm not a, I'm not going to let it go to waste. I'd rather use it. All right, next item that I use is my I have two Matrixel solutions from Timeless. One is the Matrixel three thousand serum, and one is the Synth six. I also have the Coenzyme Q ten serum. This does have the Matrixel three thousand in it. The co the Coenzyme Q10. I always call it CoQ. So my CoQ does have this in it. So I, like I did just rebuy this because I will use it all across my decollete a lot more than I will use this. And this one's a little bit more expensive. Really not much, like $5 for the bottle. Um, so I, you may not necessarily feel like you need to purchase both. I happened to, you know, I like, I like bulk. <laughs> so I bought the big bottle. Plus, I like to be able to use it without fear of, you know, running out or, or fear that I have to be so careful with it. I want to use the stuff, you know. That's why I buy it. Okay, and then this is the Matrixel Thin Six. So the Matri Matrixel Thin. Oh, this is all such a mouthful. The Matrixel Thin Six is a little bit thinner than my CoQ, so I put this on first. And if I'm going to use this as well, I do this at the same time. And I typically do. At least two drops and I spread it around just to make sure I got that covered. Okay, so this is clear. So I just do about three drops of that to start. Same thing, just a light spreading of it up and upward and all around. Go back in for another 
one drop, bring it up my neck and across my chest. And I just like to make sure I really got my eyes well, so I'll do like a teeny little half a drop more. And just really pat that in around those lovely 11s and those lovely little chickadee feet. I'm not gonna call them the other nasty word. Okay, and then I always kind of just do that on the back of my hands. No waste. Okay, let me just give a quick little smear of this. Again, two drops of this. Patting, lightly rubbing. This one has a little bit more of a tacky feel, but it's not bad. And it's also because I have three things on now, so it'll take just a moment. Okay, my CoQ10, which this also has um, hyalur hyaluronic acid and vitamin E in it, along with glycerin. And in the right amount, glycerin is an excellent um, emollient. So the Matrixyl 3000 also has the hyaluronic acid, which is why I do not use a separate hyaluronic acid um, serum. If you have that and you love that, that's great. There's no problem. You can combine all of this stuff. Uh, my Matrixel 6 also has some glycerin in it and hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. So between all of this stuff, I'm, I'm getting pretty much all of the really excellent ingredients. Okay, so this stuff is a little heavier. It's yellow. Two, about three drops of this. And it's a little bit thicker and a little bit tackier than um, the, the Matrixels. There we go. Okay. All right. This one is a little bit stickier than the other two. The other two seem to kind of fade right in, even right when they feel a little teeny bit sticky, they just kind of go right in. All right. And I generally don't give much time in between these. So, you know, you can do what you like. If you feel like it's not soaked in enough, wait a couple of minutes. Now comes my facial oils, and you know I love my DIY blend, which is right here. I'll link that video down below. So I will alternate, and this is summer. The squalene is a little bit lighter, so I've been using a little bit more of this. I will still use this at night, but I alternate days and mornings, evenings. I just kind of play around however my skin feels for the day, however the weather is, you know, um, how early it is at night. If I'm going to bed and I, I am washing and doing all this, right before I'm crashing. I will use less of this, like a teeny little amount, because it does need a little bit of time to kind of soak in. I don't want it all over my pillowcase. Which, by the way, I have my hair load of argan oil. Um, I went and saturated it this morning, totally forgetting that I had planned to do this video. <laughs> so, I, ugh. Okay, so I am going to use about two drops of this and one or two drops of this right now because this is my morning routine and I don't want the oils very heavy in summer. So um, this is 100% pure squalene plant derived, which is what you want to. It kind of gets all over in the middle of my fingers there. Okay, and then one more for my neck. <gasps> well, I got two. Okay, that's all right. I'm going to go down like that. Alrighty, and this is the clear. And now my special concoction. One, two. And I'm going to really try to make this stretch, like across my whole face and down my entire neck because I really don't want a ton of oil on. All right, I can feel, you know, got a lot on there. That's going to need just a few minutes to soak in. And then as my last step, I have mostly been using this in the morning. I do have a couple of others that I alternate in, but oh, I have an eyelash. So this is my Derma E Anti-Wrinkle um, Renewal Cream filled with lots of good stuff and this is lighter so I use this in the morning so it'll soak in faster 
I have my heavier ones that I use at night. Um, and I don't use a ton of this. You know, just a, a little dab. It's just a white cream like that. So I just, you know, just kind of lightly pat it on top of all those other things. I'll just rub that in. Okay, so <clears throat> that is my morning routine. It really does go quickly. Seems like a lot. It's not, and it's so worth it. My last step, critical step, before I will even open my door and poke my little head out to see what the weather's like, I slap on the sunscreen. I found this one at Marshall's. I've talked about this one in another video too. <clears throat> this, I love this stuff. Okay, straight up honest. For some reason, and I don't know why, when I first squirt a little bit of it out onto my finger, it smells like not pleasant. <laughs> it smells kind of like dirty feet. I don't know why, like dirty socks or something. But within an instant, that's gone. And it smells nice and pleasant. And then it has no odor. So I, I don't know, but I, I did pick up on a little aroma. Um, I don't mind it because I know how good this stuff is. And let me tell you, I only use mineral sunscreens and I don't want any chemical crap or garbage in there. So this was one of the ones that I found to be the purest. Um, I, I did go back a couple days ago and I found a couple others that I, now I can't find the bag, right? My story, my life. But I'm going to review those as well. And I did find a baby one that I've given to my daughters, my babies. They're not babies, but they're my babies. So I, this is SPF of 45, and I really like how it goes on. It's pretty thick and hefty, but spread it around. Give it a little time before you put your makeup on. The other thing I like to use is, you know, makeup with SPF. But if I don't, that's okay. I'm covered with this. And this is great too. So if you don't want to wear any makeup, or you just have a light you know, like, like the mineral veil, you know, like the, just a light powder. I mean, it's summer. We don't need to be all gooked up. We need air and freshness and let our skin breathe. So I really like this stuff. I know they have another formula out and it's in a green, I think it's in a green bottle because I did try Googling this and I don't see this exact container a whole lot anymore. So I'm thinking they discontinued this packaging and it's redone. So, anyways, this is my Alba Botanica. So, before I go anywhere outside, even to get my mail, I will make sure I'm covered in this all the way down and across and on the backs of my hands. I do work outside, and my arms are always in the sun. I put a hat on, I have sunglasses on, but my face is still highly exposed to the sun. So, that's it. That's my morning routine. I'll do my nighttime one again soon. And in the meantime, enjoy the beautiful end of spring beginning of summer i thank you for visiting with me and hanging out and i will see you guys soon